everyone, I'm Jennifer. I'm a pharmacist here at MLK Health Center and Pharmacy with some tips for helping you take your medications safely and make sure that you get the full benefit of those medications when you take them. All right, so now I wanted to give you some tips on how to read your prescription label. So anytime you get a medication, there's always going to be a label on that medication and it has a lot of really useful information just like a nutrition label for food might have. So the elements, the things that are on that prescription label are actually specified by law. So we are required as pharmacists to put specific things on that bottle when we dispense that to a patient. So there is a consistency between prescription labels regardless of where you get your prescription filled. Some of the same elements are going to be on that prescription label. So one of the things that you'll always see at the top of the label is the pharmacy where it was filled with a phone number. So if you ever have any questions about that medication, it's a good resource to be able to call that phone number in that pharmacy where you filled that specific prescription and ask them questions about it. It's also going to have an RX number that is specific to that prescription. So again, if there's any question about what the prescription is for, how to take it, you can refer to that RX number when you call the pharmacy and ask them questions about it. Most importantly on your prescription label are the instructions. So the instructions should be very clear and tell you exactly how many pills to take, how often to take them, and when to take them. So it may tell you one pill twice daily and or one pill once a day, but it's very easy to you know, read those instructions and make sure that you know how to take that medication. If there's ever any question, again, ask your pharmacist where you got the prescription filled or just talk to a pharmacist at a, at a drugstore and they can definitely help you uh, decipher those instructions. Also, for those of you who may um, have a hard time reading them, especially sometimes these prescription labels are very small and they can be very hard to read. So if you can't see them, again, ask your pharmacist. We sometimes have resources where we can print them larger or make sure that you have a magnifying glass or something so that you're able to see that um, those instructions more clearly. Prescription labels are also always going to tell you the name and the strength of the medication. So it is can be confusing. Medication names are confusing. Some of them are very hard to pronounce, um, but there are always multiple names for the medication. There's a generic name for the medication and then also brand names. So that can cause some confusion depending on what is printed on the label. But again, always ask your pharmacist if you have any questions about that. The number of pills in the bottle is also always going to be there on the label as well as refills. So, you know, keep an eye on that refill count and make sure that if you are at zero refills that you talk to your doctor, make that follow-up appointment, make sure that you can refill your prescriptions on time as needed. Also on prescription labels, uh, we have what we are called our auxiliary labels. It's all the little instructions or the little stickers that go on the label. So these are really helpful. They'll tell you some of the things that are important about how to take that medication safely, like whether or not to take it with food, without food, um, any, if it's gonna cause any side effects like drowsiness. So especially some medications that cause drowsiness, we wouldn't want you to be driving or operating heavy machinery after taking that medication. So those are important things to watch for on the prescription label. Also, we may have to substitute your medication with a, a medication made by a different manufacturer. So it's the same medication, but it may be manufactured by a different uh, company, and so the tablet may look slightly different. So if you ever get your prescription, and you know last month it was a little round white uh, circular tablet, and this month it's kind of an oval-shaped tablet, looks a little different, check for that prescription label um, that says you know your medication may have changed. It may look different, but it's the same medication. And again, if there's ever any question about it, please ask your pharmacist and we can verify that it is the right medication. The medication label will also tell you if the strength has changed. So sometimes, you know, maybe you are taking a 10 milligram tablet and we only have five milligram tablets in stock. So we may change it so that you have to take two of those lower strength tablets to get the right dosage for you. Um, it's the same medication again, but it may change slightly with different prescriptions. So it's always important to check that prescription label each time you get it filled, even if you've taken it for years, to make sure that those instructions haven't changed. And again, if there's any questions or if you're ever confused about anything on the prescription label, please just ask your provider, your pharmacist, and we're happy to help. And finally, make sure that you keep any follow-up appointments with your physician. So if they've prescribed a new medication especially, we've changed the dosing of your medication, make sure and come back when they ask you to, to make sure that we can check any labs that are necessary, make sure those medications are still working safely for you and you're not having any side effects. Also at those follow-up appointments, it's very important to tell us if you are experiencing any side effects so that we can adjust those medications if needed. So if you feel like it's not helping you or if you feel like it's making you sick, if you feel like your stomach is upset after taking the medication, medication, you know, tell us and we can see there may be some options either to change the dosage or change the medication uh, in a way that will make it still work effectively for you, but without those side effects. 
thanks for watching and remember we're always here to answer any questions or concerns you have so please ask your pharmacist ask your provider and we're happy to help make sure that you can take your medications as safely as possible and get the full benefit of those medications